Tennis clubs and tennis courts all around the world are closed right now, but that doesn't mean you can't still improve your tennis skills. We're down here in my basement right now. We've set up a little square with some pieces of tape. And also, as a bonus target here, I've got a little garbage can, and I'll, we're going to implement that in a little bit. But for right now, what I'm going to start as a warm-up is just hit some soft backspin shots into that target area. And just to start, I'm going to hit a total of 20 into that square. I'm using a continental grip here. I'm hitting with backspin. And so these are kind of like just soft, almost kind of volley type shots with the, the ball bouncing. And once I make 20 in the box, I'm going to go over to my backhand side and do the same thing. Same grip, also backspin shots. And the name of the game here is uh, soft, relaxed hand, staying really nice and relaxed. If all of a sudden I like kind of flip my racket and speed everything up a ton and I lose that tempo, then my ability to maintain the rally becomes compromised. So finding a nice, smooth, consistent, repetitive tempo is really the key here to success. Once I finish up the backspin shots, I'm going to go ahead and transition to, to topspin. So now I'm going to start off in the box, and now I'm going to really gently give the ball a little bit of topspin. And this is a skill that a lot of players don't train. A lot of players are really uncomfortable with short courts, but being able to just really gently roll the ball forwards is a really important skill that can translate over to the, the whole rest of your game. So then I'll do the same thing with my backhand side. And this is a, a skill I actually personally really need to train because my topspin backhand is a big weakness of mine. And so you'll see my control and my tempo is not nearly as uh, consistent as my forehand side. And this is a great way to find out those holes in your game right now isolating something and being really focused and specific, having a purpose behind every shot, and then mixing up between backs, backspin, topspin, forehand, backhand, you can start to get a feel for where your strengths and weaknesses lie, which is a huge benefit that you can reap during this time where we're stuck at home. If you're liking these simple tips to keep your tennis skills sharp, make sure to go to hometennismax.com. We've put together a complete comprehensive program that can help you keep all of your tennis skills honed. So when you go back to the court, you're completely ready to go. Now we're gonna to start to transition between a firmer shot and a softer shot. And that's what this garbage can is for. This is, this is definitely gonna be more challenging and I was practicing this a little bit earlier and it's a lot of fun. I'm gonna start off with four hands and I'm gonna stick with backspin and I'm gonna hit three shots in a row to the square. So there's one, two, three, and then I'm gonna go garbage can. Yeah, got it, first try. <laughs> I got lucky there. And so the goal here is to hit a firmer shot into the box for the first three, so it comes back to you, and then a softer shot on the fourth shot. And so this is really going to challenge your, your touch, your feel, your precision, and your ability to transition from one firmness to, to another firmness. So once you've completed that a couple of times, you can go to your backhand side and do backspin. So there's one, two, three, yeah. Let's see if I can get, get one more of those. The transition from the firmer shot to the softer shot is all about being mindful of your grip pressure and also the angle of your, your racket face. And so now what you can do is go back to the forehand side, do topspin for the three into the box, and then backspin for the soft shot into the garbage can. This is definitely the most challenging out of all of these. So I'm gonna uh, feed with topspin, two, three, and backspin. Oh, I got robbed, <laughs> whipped out. Let's try it one more time. So topspin on the feed, two, three. Oh, I missed that one. One, two, three, backspin. So what I'm doing here is switching my grip on the topspin shots. I'm using an Eastern uh, forehand grip here to hit with topspin. And then after the third shot, I'm switching the Continental, kind of like what you see on, on clay court. Oh, under the couch. <laughs> okay, this is kind of like what you see on clay court tennis where 
uh, you'll see them crushing like rally balls, topspin, and then they'll kind of set up and then shift to a continental grip and then hit the, hit the backspin shot. So there's topspin, 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 and backspin. And so finding just the right touch while transitioning is really, really tricky. And so now I'll go over to the backhand side as well. And this is, I mean, really tough for me personally because my topspin backhand is a big weakness of mine. Topspin, topspin. All right, got it. So you can see you can mix and match a lot of different things here. Your forehand, your backhand, backspin, topspin, firmer shot, softer shot. Move through this sequence, I promise you, your skills will stay more sharp than just sitting on the couch and watching professional players on TV. And if you'd like a complete, comprehensive, step-by-step -step guide to help you with your footwork, your technique, your mental game, your fitness, and many, many more parts of your game, go to hometennismax.com right now and check it out. We hope you join us inside the program.